Hello everyone, it's Liz. Welcome back to my channel. I know that I have been gone for a long time this time again, but I have been sick since the end of last month until now, and I am finally recovering and I do feel much better, but I am so sorry for not uploading. So I thought that today I would film a video for you. I'm going to be talking about some of my most favorite skincare that I love to use for my dry and sensitive skin. If you have dry skin like me and you would love to find out what those products are, just keep on watching. So I'm going to start with something that I like to use to remove my makeup and that is from Bioderma and this is basically the micellar water and this one is for dry and sensitive skin I remember that I used to rave about the Garnier one like I told you guys that that one was my holy grail but then some of you recommended this one to me and since I have tried this one I have not gone back to the Garnier one well actually Actually, I did try the Garnier one again and my experience was different than what I remembered. I found that the Garnier one did leave like an oily film on my face. It also has like fragrance which I didn't use to notice before. So I was not as in love with it as I used to but this one, it is so gentle and it has no fragrance and it doesn't leave sticky or oily residue on my skin and I just love it for that reason yeah it's just really gentle and it doesn't burn my skin at all so it's just a really good micellar water if you love to use micellar waters to remove your makeup this is definitely the one that you need to try I have also been loving cleansing balms to remove my makeup as well and I have two to share with you today and the first one is from Good Molecules and this is called the Instant Cleansing Balm. I actually received this as a sample with my Beautylish order and I ended up really loving it so I went and purchased three more of these by myself. It's just a really good cleansing balm. It doesn't leave an oily uh, residue on my skin either so I would say that this is probably great for those of you with oily skin as well. I know that many people with oily skin may be scared of cleansing bombs because they think that they will clog up their pores like it's too oily and whatever but this one I feel like you can definitely use it if you have oily skin. It's just really light. Yeah, it doesn't feel like thick or heavy on your skin whatsoever and it also has like a really nice scent to it I'm not sure if it has fragrance in it because I don't see it on the label here but I'm sure it does however it doesn't irritate my sensitive skin at all with the fragrance it's also very affordable I think it's like $15 a tub and it has 75 grams or 2.5 ounces of product in here so it's going to last you a while it's just a really really good product if you haven't tried any cleansing balms maybe you can start out with this one just give this one a try since it's affordable and another one that I also love is from Drunk Elephant and this is called the Slay Makeup Melting Butter Cleanser and this one does have virgin marula oil in it so I would say that it is probably suited for people who have dry skin also the texture of this is very thick and it's almost like butter yeah like the name it's like very very thick and very buttery and it just melts onto your skin really luxuriously like I love using this like I love the experience of using this product yeah it just melts away my makeup really well and I have used this to remove my eye makeup and it does a great job of that however it does leave my eyes a bit cloudy like blurry but I'm sure all cleansing balms do that if you're looking for something a little bit more luxurious and moisturizing and that is great for dry skin this is the one that I recommend the next step that I like to do after I use like those uh, makeup removers I like to clean my skin with a facial cleanser and I have just been loving this one from La Roche-Posay this one is called the Tolerian 
anti-discomfort caring wash and it's basically a gel facial wash yeah so it doesn't foam up or anything like that so if you are one of those people who like to use a very foamy facial washes you will probably won't like this one but I don't care about actually I don't like foaming washes because I find that they tend to dry out my dry skin and makes my skin feel too like squeaky clean you know what I mean yeah so I don't like foaming washes I tend to go for uh, facial washes that are very gentle and more gel like like this one yeah and it also has no fragrance and it comes in 400 mil bottles so it's huge it's going to last you a long time and this is actually my second bottle already so that tells you how much i love this stuff facial treatment that i like to use maybe once or twice a week and this one is also from the brand drunk elephant and this is called the tlc sukari baby facial and this one contains 25% AHA and 2% BHA. You apply it on your face and you leave it on for maybe 20 minutes before you rinse it off. It's going to remove your dead skin cells and exfoliate your skin. So it's kind of like a chemical exfoliant, yeah, I would say. But it is quite potent. If you have very sensitive skin, just start out slowly. Maybe try it and see how your skin reacts. It might be too much for you because this stuff does sting your skin like when you have it on you you can definitely feel it stinking your skin I remember the first time I used this it was really bad like it stung my skin really bad that I almost cried like literally the stinking does get better as your skin gets used to it so maybe after like the fifth or the sixth time is going to get better why do i tolerate that is because the results are amazing guys this really does give your skin like a radiant glowy lit from within like baby face it's just a really really good product that is so worth the hype if you feel like your skin is a little dull and it needs a little bit of a pick-me-up just give this one a try after i use that i like to go in with a facial oil which is the drunk elephant virgin marula luxury facial oil this is basically a very hydrating facial oil probably best for those who have very dry skin if you have oily skin i wouldn't recommend you to try this because it's super heavy and it's so hydrating so it might clog your pores i'm not sure if that's what it's gonna do but yeah i'm sure you won't like the way it feels on your skin anyway for people with dry skin this works wonders it's going to hydrate your skin like so deeply and it's just really great yeah it does really feel like a luxury yeah to use and i know that this is so small because it's like a sample size but i have gone through maybe three or four of these and i'm definitely going to be picking up the full size when i go to the states at the end of this month it's just a really great facial oil to use on super dry skin so good and another facial oil that I have talked about before is the one from The Ordinary and this is the 100% plant-derived squalin and this one is much more lightweight compared to the Drunk Elephant one I've also said before that those with oily skin I think can probably use as well since it's so lightweight it does sink in pretty well so I do like to use this on the days that I want a little bit of like an extra hydration I either use this on its own or like mixed in with my moisturizer or sometimes I even mix it in with my very dry and full coverage foundations and it works great yeah it's just a very good all-around oil and it's very versatile and also it has no fragrance I would say that it works for all skin types so if you want something that is a little bit more affordable that is going to work for you like all year round this is a great option we are on to the last product guys and that is also a moisturizer and this one is from physio gel ai cream i love this product because it hydrates my skin really well and it also repairs my skin i was suffering um very 
dry skin I had some peeling on like my nose and around my mouth area it was peeling really bad and I remember no matter what I used and no matter how much product I used nothing would work like I would still have like peely skin and super dry and makeup wouldn't cling onto my skin because my skin was so dry yeah, and everything would look so horrible but then I tried this and I put it on like overnight and I woke up like the next day and it was crazy guys like my face was so hydrated and it looked so much better and there was no peeling whatsoever like it was gone yeah so it is that great if you are suffering from super dry skin and your skin gets irritated often this is a great one to use to repair your skin and deeply hydrate your skin i do love to use this on days that i'm feeling lazy as well like i just use this on its own and i don't have to worry about like um my skin not being moisturized um enough yeah because i know that it will with this it's just a really great product and it's also affordable because you can buy this from the drugstore however i'm not sure about in the states but i'm sure you can find it on amazon maybe it's just a really great moisturizer so that is it for this video those are all of the products that i had to share with you today do you have any products that you think work great on dry and sensitive skin that i haven't mentioned or tried before please leave them in the comments below and before you leave please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell i will see you soon in the next video bye